Hello Scorpio and welcome to my channel Attila Taro. In this video we're gonna take a look at what kind of energies you can expect in the month of June in the areas of love and relationship. As usual this is a general reading so please take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. We're gonna start with your spirit animal oracle card and the card that's came out for you is the beaver spirit number six lay a solid foundation. So this is all about making sure that you are uh, uh, kind of uh, very stable you when whenever you are trying to create your dreams make sure that you have a great foundation that supports that but let's see what else we have here in the center of your reading you do have the ace of swords the ace of swords is the card of mental clarity so this is the card of victory this is the card of uh, getting that clarity when you're able to know when you kind of recognize what is that you want, what is that makes you happy, and how you want to move forward. This can be a new chapter in your life, a new chapter in an existing relationship, or also an indication of a new relationship. Uh, but also it can be uh, an indication of a, a very great conversation that brings you clarity as well. But also uh, being victorious in a situation. But let's see what else we have here. The first card we have is the seven of cups seven of cups is the card when you have a lot of choices to make and you have a hard time making those decisions and whenever this comes up it's very important that you try to narrow your options uh, and try to weigh the pros and cons and you have a fewer options to choose but this is also a card uh, that's connected to manifestations and maybe you are not clear in terms of what is that you're trying to manifest uh, because one day you might be oh yeah i want to be in a relationship no i want to be single uh, so whatever you are you you might be a little bit confused about it what you want and and it's very important, to, like this is the way the universe is sending you a message. I don't know what you want. I don't know what dreams I need to deliver for you. But I think you're going to get this mental clarity that's going to help you to move forward. Uh, you also have here the King of Cups. King of Cups can be a person, your energy, or just the energy of the card. This is a male f uh, father figure who is very loving, very caring. And he leads by from his heart. And he is somebody who is very balanced. Uh, like, you know, even in the in the wildest situation, he is mentally stable because he's able to... Uh, uh, balance his thoughts and his feelings uh, and also somebody who has great diplomatic skills um, it might be also an indication that you know even in, in the midst of the the biggest storms you're able to uh, uh, stay calm and stable you also have here the nine of wands nine of wands is the card of the wounded soldier somebody who's been through a lot lot of battles a lot of difficulties um fighting for something and and you've been kind of uh, at the verge of giving it up this is kind of like when you've been some of you might be wanting to find a relationship but it's been difficult and you're like oh i don't want it uh, or or you've been fighting for a relationship and and you're just kind of ready to give up this is the card that also tells you that you know you are very close to achieving your goal so don't give up uh, keep going keep fighting for your dreams keep fighting for whatever you want to achieve now interesting we were talking about manifestation with the seven of cups and you have the magician which is the card of manifestation uh, the unlimited potentials and uh, also indicating that you have all the uh, skills the tools you need to achieve whatever you want whether you want to be in a relationship find that perfect partner or um, uh, work on an existing relationship you have the skills to do it so for me it's very important to have the connection between these two cards or the manifestation and the confusion so i think you need to make sure that you are 100% sure what is that you're trying to manifest and you also have here the three of pentacles three of pentacles is the card of teamwork and working very hard on something working as hard uh, to build uh, something up from the ground up so this is kind of like when you work uh, um, with your partner if you're in a relationship as a team uh, to make things better some of you might be bringing in a counselor to help you to resolve the problems it might be also that some of you are have some people are helping you to find a relationship trying to introduce you to uh, others but let's see what's going to be the final outcome of this reading but before that please don't forget to like share and subscribe that's an indication that the reading helped you and you can also help me to grow the channel to make sure that the message
which gets out to those who need it the most. For you, it is only casting a push of a button. So I hope that you already pushed those like and subscribe buttons. I'm always very excited to see in the comment how this reading is resonating with you. So uh, you also have here the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is kind of like the confusion card again, and it's uh, no lo no wonder that it is in the in the top row. This is when your when your mind is. Um, is is overdrive uh, when you kind of overthinking things and that's kind of uh, very connected to this card right you can see how he is trying to make up his mind um, and and anyway with this card the challenge is that you know she can see herself a certain way bound and not seeing the way out but that's not the situation so very important for you to clear your thoughts uh, and, and and put it in a comment that i release all the negative thoughts that's holding me back you also have here the two of wands two of wands is the card of planning and decision so very interesting you have quite a few cards here that are talking about decision so what this card is uh, that you know she is somebody who's been who's achieved a lot and and she is kind of looking outside where she is and and she is uh, she knows that the whole world uh, is ahead of her so this is somebody but 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 that who is dreaming but uh, whatever she achieved is holding her back so think about it what is that holding you back to achieve your full potential your dreams because you know i think that's something whatever is holding you back is the one that's make, giving you uh, making you confused but you also have here the card uh, of, of, as the two of ones uh, is the card of decision this is when you make you have to make a choice between two things maybe two people uh, maybe be in a relationship or be single and 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 eventually uh, go uh, down a path. And for the last spot, you have two cards that came out, the Ace of Pentacles and the Fool. Both of these cards are interestingly all about a new start, a new beginning, and going down a new path, an uncharted territory, and taking that leap of fee faith. And, uh, and that's kind of the fool, Fool's energy. And, and, and you know, the Ace of Pentacles is all about a new chapter, a new beginning as well. So it, it's, it's an opportunity that has a potential to bring you stability for the long run so there's definitely you are going down the new path but let's see what do we have in the bottom of the deck the bottom of the deck is the beautiful nine of cups which is the card of joy happiness celebration and wish fulfillment so uh, you're definitely uh, going towards your wish, wish fulfillment and you can see how she's looking towards that and and how happy that person is so claim in the uh, in the comment uh, uh, that your wishes are coming true and um, i hope that this reading helped you and i'll be able to welcome you again